They're sitting just under the baseline here. First game that Mike Krzyzewski has attended since retiring. Duke is wearing the Coach K grays, as they call them, as the head coach of USA Basketball, the Fighting Irish in the dark uniforms. And Filipowski didn't get fouled, didn't make the basket. And points over his last seven games, and the Fighting Irish showing a little zone depth. Three-quarter court pressure back into the zone. Filipowski two for two to start the game for Duke. Thorn in the side of this Blue Devil offense, but Notre Dame doesn't force many of those among the bottom 12 or so teams in the country in terms of numbers of turnovers forced, and Jeremy Rhodes gets his first bucket. Cormac Ryan had a big game for the Fighting Irish, won here a couple of years ago. He had 28 that night, and now he's got three. They need some size against Duke on the glass. Starling drives, fortunate to retain possession as Hammond gets it, and the lefty puts it down. The transfer from Niagara, who played for former Duke point guard Greg Paul. It's the least he could do, come and say goodbye. We'll show you the fabulous parting gift that Coach K gave him during practice as Hammond now has four. Notre Dame has a three-point lead. I think Duke was willing to honor Bray during the game in front of the crowd, and Mike sort of would have none of it. Down low and Derek Lively now 35 of his 46 field goals are dunks. Derek Lively off the window on Saturday against Virginia in his return after missing the previous four games. He really helps stretch the floor offensively. Now, you have to guard him. Against the Tar Heels in this building about a week and a half ago. Here is Whitehead from the corner. Rated as the number one small forward by ESPN.com coming out of high school. He had the foot fracture in the offseason that slowed the development at the start. Stumbled a little bit on the catch in there as he made the cut inside. Now in the 13-all game inside, 12 minutes to go. Here's Hammond again from the baseline. Virtually impossible. Billis, I think, coined the phrase, there is no bottom in the Big 12. There are teams who might not be at top of the standings, but there's no real bottom as Filipowski scores. He has a half dozen. They've extended their pressure. They're looking to score quickly in their transition game. Dane Goodwin, a little fade away. He's on that shot. He's got four, both of them on similar looking shots. He's got a brilliant career for the Irish. You know, he's played more games in a Notre Dame uniform than any other player. There is Whitehead, see it and be it, and Duke's back on top. His second triple. Galen Blake pushes to Roach. Roach gets inside. Young with the offensive rebound, and Young puts it back. Screens, Proctor rolls, and couldn't get it to him. Goodwin, shot fake, get past Filipowski and scores Dane Goodwin. Snaps the drought for the Irish. He has a half dozen. I think everyone got a touch that time. A little high low. Goodwin got a hand on it, but Young is able to finish and draw the foul. Percent three point shooting team. They're shooting 10%. Tariq Whitehead, meanwhile, made all three of his. Duke has his biggest lead, and the Irish get one on the board. And how would you like to be a one seed and see Duke with a healthy Tariq Whitehead? More mature and seasoned Filipowski after a while, as good as he's been all year, and scores immediately on cue. He has a... Their productivity off the bench is better. They're getting healthier. Lively can do that, alter shots at the rim. That's a heck of a finish inside by J.J. Starling. And you got to throw it almost off the shot clock with Lively around the rim. A shot fake from Filipowski goes in strong, and Kyle's into double figures. Blue Devils up by eight. Good curl by Goodwin. And slid out of there by Derek Lively. We've hit on a lot of these things, and Duke sort of settled in after a while. Notre Dame had to lead a couple of times, changed defenses to try to disrupt them, and there's Filipowski, who's up to a dozen now. A little too hard off the window, and here come the Blue Devils, a chance to push that lead. Roach almost turned it over. Proctor with a catch, Filipowski with the bucket, and Duke is up by a dozen, and Filipowski has 14. Coming down the stretch of the season, it seems as if the Blue Devils' ceiling is extraordinarily high as Goodwin goes past Filipowski and has a chance for a three-point play. I love 
quick twist action in the middle third of the floor. Elkowski to Mitchell in the skip, and Mitchell knocks down the three. Mark Mitchell for the Blue Devils. Well, that's an incredible part of his game. If he could elevate that. Oh, Lively swats it off the board. Here comes Duke in transition. Rhodes pulls up, and Cormac Ryan snuck up behind him and blocked it. Here's Leshesky for three. Buckets. There it was, Leshesky. Yeah, you mentioned Mitchell adding that to his game. He shot a good percentage this year, but that was only his 14th made three of the year. Here's Tyrese Proctor. Whitehead liked that corner three. Good closeout by the Irish. Ryan Young, very productive in the first half. He continues here in the second. He's got a half dozen. Going to Northwestern. Cormac Ryan, Proctor is all over him. And there's another one. Ruben gets it and puts it back in on the second shot. 44-33, Duke up by 11. Here's Starling down the door. What a move. And a 20-point game against Carolina in here. Starling again, tipped up by Lubin, can't go. Proctor almost lost it out of bounds, and it looks as if he did, and the Irish have it back. Good one with an open three. Three White has missed his two shots in the second after a perfect first half. Good win. Oh, how about the soft touch? Filipowski for three. Rhodes with the offensive rebound, fresh 20. He'll shoot the fade away. That is a big time board on the weak side. Uh, and Roach makes another play with the steal. He's in the open floor. He puts it up. Derek Lively dunking is really his strong suit offensively <laughs> right now. I mean, this is a great follow in transition. No doubt about it. A couple of dunks tonight for Lively and a couple of block shots as well. Look, between him and Ryan Young, if they can get somewhere between 16 and 12. Made field goals have been flushes this year. Goodwin trying to back down Proctor, fade, fire, and fill it up again. Dane Goodwin is using that one. Intentional about giving John Shire space, and Shire said, you need space, glad to have you around. Proctor all the way. Goodwin, meanwhile, has been exceptional. He spins, it's time to the left hand. How about a counter move instead of the fadeaway? Wow, brilliant. Notre Dame, I'll give them this, they just won't go away. That might be one Coach Shire might look at on film tomorrow. And they're going to look at this one, too. And Notre Dame gets back very well, and Tyrese didn't have any numbers. He does have Filipowski with it. Whitehead pass to Filipowski for the layup. Great look from the freshman to the other freshman, to Reek Whitehead, to Kyle Filipowski. Newman keeps that scoring streak going. Good way. Make it the last 14 for the Irish and a chance to have a three-point play. They are really connected on both ends of the floor tonight against Duke. Shot clock at five. Filipowski down the boulevard. He's got the easy one. Good one back on the block. This time working on Grandison. See what move he's got this time to fade away again. And it goes down again. A season high 25 for Dane Goodwin. Peeking around him, but at least she was giving him bunny ears. 56-52. It's been the Dane Goodwin show for Notre Dame. And Tyrese Proctor goes in and gets his second bucket of the night. Proctor. And sort of face guarding Goodwin. Now the lead for Leshesky. And it's blocked by Filipowski. Great defense by the Duke freshman. We've hit the three-minute mark. Blue Devils with the ball and a six-point lead. Jeremy Rhodes to the bucket. Excellent execution, really hard to guard. Trey Wirtz driving on Filipowski and scoring. Give him a finish here. Here's Starling down the middle, and he can't get it to go. Another opportunity for the Irish. Cormac Ryan for three. Five-point game. Now he'll drive on Lubin, spin to the basket. It's blocked by Van Allen Lubin. 90 seconds to play in Cameron. Sterling for three. He's got it, and it's a two-point game. To substitute in. Allen rolls out, and Notre Dame.
Dame with the three could tie the game. Rubin tried to set him a screen. Notre Dame running its offense really high. Let's see if they can find Goodwin. Sterling drives to the bucket. J.J. Sterling makes it a one-point game. I love that pass-through action. And Notre Dame content to play it out here, Deb. Mitchell for three in the corner. He got it! Bird Mitchell with a huge three! Don't give up a three. Starling to the bucket again. And the tip in from Rubin. 3.9 to go. Two-point game. Now they've got a foul wow. quickly. Maybe two dribbles here if you can catch it at midcourt. So three seconds would be like three actions. Ice water in the veins made them both. Four-point lead for Duke. Starling, and that's how it's going to end. The Blue Devils remain perfect at home, but man, oh man, did the Irish give them a fight.